Welcome back to the channel. So I've got another watch in for review. Um, I had one of these back on the channel a while back. I actually owned one, a black version. I sold it. Uh, this is Aaron's uh, from the OFD channel. He uh, sent this in so I can do another review on one of these, but this is just a classic dive watch. It really is, and it's a great alternative to the Seiko SKX 007. Um, this is the model number NY0040-17L. Um, it's running a caliber 8203 Miota. Okay, it's winding but non-hacking. That might bother some folks because you can't hack it, but you can't do that to the Seiko SKX either. So either way, this is a great entry-level diver. Um, and it's got some great specs to it. It's, it's just a good looking watch. This is the blue dial. Like I said, I had the black dial before, but you have, um, let me get in the dimensions, 41.5 millimeter case, 46 from lug to lug. Okay. Uh, 12.5 millimeters thick and 20 millimeter lug openings. These come in a very supple, very nice rubber strap. Okay. ND limits are on there, which is cool. Um, but um, very nice 60 click bezel. It's chunky, okay? Very heavy sounding, but it's precise and it always lines up, unlike a Seiko, okay? You got your crown at the eight o'clock, right there. And it's a nice size crown. And I like it at the eight o'clock because it doesn't dig into your wrist, okay? Brushed up on top, polished on the sides. The polishing is just amazing. Very high polish, looks really good, done very well. The uh, bezel's completely uh, brushed and it's got very nice cutouts for the, for the grip, okay? Um, but Citizen is a great watch. Um, I mean, these divers are amazing. This is the ProMaster line, Citizen. Um, 200 meter water resistance, of course. Not a sapphire crystal, it's probably a mineral crystal of some kind, but just the case, the way they polished it, everything on the underside and on the sides. I mean, it, the attention to detail is there. These are these can be had anywhere between two to $300. They're supposed to be discontinued, but it looks like you can get them uh, overseas from like Europe, places like that, Japan possibly. Um, but um, these are great, great watches. If you look, let's uh, unscrew it. I'll hack it. Well, it doesn't hack, but let's go like this so we can see the dial a little bit. Do that classic 10 o'clock, 10, 10. Uh, let's screw on, screw in the case or the, the crown. But um, Citizen automatic up at the 12 o'clock. And then below that, towards the six, we have divers water resistant 200 meters. I like that red triangle, that red arrow, arrow up there at the, near the 12. And then that red at the bottom in the 200 meters. That looks really good. Um, applied markers all throughout. Very beautiful blue. Okay, you can see that. Um, has that inner chapter ring as well. Everything lines up, unlike a Seiko at this price point. Day and date function, really cool is the date wheels in black. So that looks really good instead of being in white, which is very ugly in my opinion. Um, just doesn't match and I hate it when they do that like they did on the Seiko SKX, but uh, oh well, that's how they do it. Um, nice chapter ring, or not chapter ring, nice uh, bezel insert, okay, numbers and everything. Um, from what I understand, it's got great loom. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to check that out, but let's put it on the wrist first. Okay. My seven and a half inch wrist. Um, let's put that on. And this is a really nice fit because it's only 46 lug to lug. So it's very nice. Okay, here we go. It even looks good on the strap. So a lot of guys, like I think Aaron even mentioned his, in his video that he's just gonna keep it on this strap. So a lot of guys love this strap and I like it too. It fits very well. It's way better than the stock strap on, strap on the Seikos. So very nice. And no crown digging here at all because you got that crown at the eight o'clock. But uh, with a 46 tip to tip, you look how well that wears on my wrist, seven and a half inch wrist. Um, so that's very nice. Thickness at 12.5 is good. 41.5 across is real nice. So this is like the ideal size. It's, it's a perfect dive size. It really is. And, uh, you can actually go diving with this and you would be, you know, happy to, it, you, you, it'd be, it'd be perfect. Um, you wouldn't afraid scratching it up. You're not going to wear a $10,000 Submariner down there, I'm sure. So this would be nice. This is a real dive watch. Um, let's do a loom shot. Let me take this off. Get it loomed up. Let's see here. A loom 
room's pretty good on this one. It really is. There we go. Look at that. That is super bright. Wow. Looks like the hands are just a little bit brighter than the um, dial loom plots, but I don't know. I like it, it. Looks good to me, and I like how they they added. Unlike Seiko, they added a little loom plot there on that side of the date. That is very nice. Looks good. Okay, flip the lights back on. So anyway, guys, this is another look at the Citizen. This is the blue dial version of the Citizen NY0040-17L Promaster Diver. Beautiful watch, guys. Thanks, Aaron, for letting me check it out. And you guys take care and have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.